if you guys are like me, you really enjoy watching these vendor POV videos. And every time I watch them, I always wonder how much money are these guys making, especially the guys that are getting a lot of views on YouTube. And I had one of you guys, I did a video uh, on the Bulba store before, but now we're going to do a little deep dive on Pack Battle. I believe uh, his name is Eric. And uh, we're going to do our best estimation on exactly how much money he's making. I'm not trying to... Uh, out anybody by making these videos i just think it's fun and entertaining like props to these guys like um there's nothing nothing wrong with it i'm not trying to like expose anyone or anything like that a lot of this information is just available if you watch the video and look up a few things but let's just uh jump into this uh this was from the plano card show i believe it was april 28th and he's got around 27,000 subscribers he's getting a lot of views on youtube and we're going to be under the assumption that he's doing like one show per month. And I'm going to start with, I got a spreadsheet at the end so we can um, analyze everything. I went through the video and analyzed every trade or sale, calculated it all out so we can uh, get some estimation on his profits. But I want to start off right here. This is Social Blade. If you guys aren't familiar, you can look up any YouTube channel and you can see their estimated uh, monthly earnings. A lot of the times this is very accurate. Uh, it can be misleading, but from the most part, from what I've seen from other people, that it tends to be pretty close to this higher number. So keep that in mind. It can be lower than this. Uh, it can be higher than this, but oftentimes it, this is relatively accurate. So what's going on here is in the last 30 days, 5.6 million views. So that is a lot of views, and that is why uh, this monetary value is this high. So uh, in our estimation, uh, we're not at 22, but we'll get to that in a second. He also has a website, as you guys can see here, where it looks like he pretty much just sells boxes and is sold out. I'm not sure how much he's selling on here. Um, and let's see if he has like, it doesn't look, looks like he's working on updating some of this stuff. So uh, there's some single cards that are available on here, which is cool. So I don't know how much he's selling online on his website. I think he's changing his socials to Pack Battle Store. So I think he's working on ramping that up. Also, on Instagram, he's got around the same 22,000 followers there. Posts a lot of content. Uh, as well as, uh, this is his TikTok right here. Uh, 56,000 followers on TikTok. So going to be getting some revenue there. Uh, this is going to be more of an estimation. It's harder to tell there. But let's jump into, this is the spreadsheet here. And uh, let's just start right away. So I looked it up. He, uh, he says he lives in Frisco, Texas. So I'm going to estimate to get to this card show, he spent $100 in gas. Now I watched this whole video. It's like 22 minutes long. He didn't do that I could tell. Sometimes he wasn't very... He's not as uh, straightforward with saying some of the prices about the deal. Uh, the Bulba store guy was a little bit better about that. So I had to do some some estimating on some of the prices and stuff. But I didn't recall seeing, or it wasn't as clear, and maybe I did miss one, an outright buy. A lot of people did trades. If you guys aren't familiar, they're doing trades. Uh, depending on the card, it could be between 70 and 80%. So uh, it really it really varies on the card and, and, and whatnot. So... I calculated up the estimated uh, sales slash trades where it's like a partial trade. So this number, it maybe is a little bit misleading because he didn't acquire $4,790, uh, but he acquired cash plus product cards that he can sell uh, at his next show or online or wherever. So I am factoring that in. And so we, it was $4,790 and I estimated it at like a 25% margin this could be higher this could be lower depends how much he's grading but if he is grading there's a pretty high margin i would assume if he's getting a lot of raw copies in that he could grade and he can really maximize those profits and this could be much higher than 25 percent. if i was doing it i would really be maximizing grading personally because he got a he's got raw cards just coming to him left and right so we'll say 1100 um then he has his website this number might be high uh because he's been sold out uh, so this was just an estimated thing. I don't know. $500. This is for the month. So we're saying if this was his only show for the month and, you know, he worked on the video and, and just is that, then this is the big shocker that maybe you guys didn't realize. Like, I didn't think he was pulling in this much and this was an up month for him, but YouTube revenue, I put it at 20,000. 
Okay, we'll play with the numbers at the end a little bit just to just to kind of see. Uh, 22 was was the high, so I just went a little bit under that. Obviously, he has to pay taxes and stuff. We're not really worried about that. Then there's TikTok uh, revenue. Once again, this was just a pure estimation. Social Blade doesn't have any estimation for this. I'm just guessing that he should be pulling in at least 500 bucks uh, off of his off of his TikTok views, if not more. Uh, I try to estimate on the lower end for some of this stuff. Now I couldn't, I wasn't able to find table pricing uh, for this show, but I think it was smaller. I, I did find the website. I think it was around 30 tables, so smaller show. Uh, so I don't think that he paid 300 for a table. Maybe he did. Once again, we'll estimate higher here, and we're gonna say that he had to pay for meals this whole day for driving. Because uh, it was a one-day show, we're gonna say twenty-five bucks a meal because he's probably eating cheap, eating fast food. Um, Seventy-five dollars. So when you factor that in, uh, his costs, which aren't much uh, for this, obviously, you gotta factor in that he's buying cards outside of these events as well. I don't have any information on that. He's buying online, in person, uh, marketplace deals. I can't know that, but. We can see that his estimated profit would be $21,715 for doing one show. And what's what's crazy and what's really smart about these these guys that are uh, doing the vendor POVs is that they're taking off, especially the, the guys who got in first, right? They are growing exponentially. It is just climbing. And this YouTube revenue is absolutely worth it and absolutely carrying them. Um, absolutely amazing. Props to these guys. <clears throat> um let's play with the numbers a little bit let's say uh let's just let's just take things down to like more of the extreme i think so you know 20k we'll just call it 20k ish but let's say he had to drive a little further he had to spend like 200 bucks in gas 100 oops sorry negative 200 uh i don't know you know let's say he bought um let's say he bought a thousand dollars worth of stuff to flip at his next show and then let's say that this margin was worse and he only made 800. Let's cut his website revenue in half. Let's say he only made 250 for the whole month. And let's cut his, his YouTube revenue in half, which I'm pretty sure is not accurate. Uh, let's cut his TikTok revenue in half. And then let's say his table was as much as two tables at Collecticon 750. And let's up his food to 100 for the day. Still 9250 for the month. So uh, that is the uh, vendor breakdown of Pack Battle. Um, I met him at, uh, it was the LA Collecticon. Super, he seems super nice. Um, he seems very honest. Um, good for him. Good good for Bubble Store. Good for Pack Battle. Good for all these other guys. Uh, one of you guys asked me to do this video. I can't remember off the top of my head who it was, but if you guys want to, if you guys want me to do more of these videos, let me know. I'm happy to do them. I'm watching these videos anyway, so I got my little uh, pen and paper here, and I'm writing down every transaction. It's kind of fun, but uh, I enjoy making these. Thank you so much for watching. If, you wa if you're if you this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, obviously you enjoyed the content enough to make it this far, so you might as well subscribe because I'm doing tons of different Pokemon videos, doing a video every single day, so I would greatly appreciate it, and leave, leave me a comment. Let me know uh, if you want me to do more of these or if you want me to do different videos. Leave a comment uh, if you were shocked by the amount of potential profit that this guy is taking in. That's going to do it for this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.